just wanted to um, talk about number eight a, a little bit. The, the, the solution, of course, is correct. So no problem. So, so, so check marks, and then I've been placing the, and then um, some of the errors are minor. So for example, the, the ones I encircled in, in red, but I can see through them and the, 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 the rest of the solution that it was merely a mistake in writing it down. Like for example, x greater than negative two, but I know you are referring to the first interval. So you, so you meant x less than negative two instead. So it's uh, here. So, but, but, but anyway, I, I can see through the manure your solution. And in fact, when you did the combination, you ended up with the right answer. So all values of x strictly greater than one and less than or equal to 10 over seven. Um, well, okay, I, I said I was gonna talk about number eight and then I remembered. I, I do want to point something out in number four, uh, primarily the usage of the word case. So um, usually say we use the word case to refer to um, different situations. But it doesn't so, apply to more like subset. Para mga sub inequalities po na constituents. I mean, I, 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 I know what you mean. I, I, I know what you mean. Pero, and yes, I, I know you're uh, basically what you want to do is enforce the following. 8 over 1 minus x is less than 3 over x plus 2. And 3 over x plus 2 is less than or equal to 2 over 3x minus 2. A, a student who uses the word case in such a situation, I'm not really going to have a problem with it. But I just wanted to take this opportunity to talk about the subtle um, usage of the word case. Ginagamit natin ng case to refer to situations. Um, parang ganito, parang ganito. Um, suppose meron tayong ano, um, meron tayong task. The task is uh, going to be made up of two steps. If so, so the, the, the first step is to toss a coin. Tapos, so when you toss a coin, the outcome is heads or tails. Tapos, kapag, uh, if it turns up heads after the coin toss, gagawin mo, magsasayaw ka. Tapos, if it turns up, so heads no, you're going to dance. And then if it turns up tails, what you're going to do is, you're going to, sorry, so let's get along. If it turns up heads, you're gonna sing. Or they say dance. Anyway, if it turns up tails, that's when you're gonna dance. So case one, suppose it turns up heads. Case two, suppose the coin toss turns up tails. Because say, for example, when you sing, you're gonna be given a grade. And then when you dance, you're gonna be given a grade. All right, so. Um, here we have uh, the, the entire situation depending on what happens at the very start when you toss the coin. So case number one, heads, case number two, tails. So typically we, we use cases to refer to situations which go either or. So ito kasi, um, here in number four, it's not really a case of eight, over one minus x has some three over x plus two, or three over x plus two less or equal to two over three x minus two, but rather, and. Para po siyang step one siyang step two. So kakombine na po yun. Oh, so ito, actually wala kong maisip na ipang word, pero I, I would avoid the word. I have personal preference. I'm just going to avoid using the word case in number four. Anyway, if you remember that or not, it's fine because it's really just a minor thing. Again, I really want to talk about number eight. Number eight, so the solution is correct, but I want to talk about this other way of looking at things. So of course, uh, the absolute value of four minus X is the same as the absolute value of X minus four. 
So if you look at um, the the inequality, the absolute value of x minus four is less than the absolute value of x plus thirteen, which is x minus negative thirteen. So the left side is the distance of x from four. So the uh, DIST, so uh, again, distance. And then the right side is the distance of x compared to negative 13. So if the distance of x from four is less than the distance of x from negative 13, so what this means is that x is closer to four than it is to negative 13. So if you're able to interpret the problem like so, with negative 13 somewhere here, negative 13 and four somewhere here, then if you think about, gee, what are those points which are gonna be closer to four than they are to than they, than they are from negative 13, then we see that, oh, these uh, points I'm shading in red, of course they're closer to four than they are to negative 13. And then here on the left side of negative 13, well, they're gonna be closer to negative 13 than they are to four. So they're not gonna be part of our solution. Now, how about the numbers between negative 13 and four are uh, right exactly between them is negative nine over two. So these numbers, greater than negative nine over two, they are still closer to four than they are to negative 13. And then of course, four itself is closer to four than negative 13. Now, uh, now in the case of negative nine halves, negative nine halves is as close to four as it is to negative 13. So negative nine halves isn't closer to four compared to negative 13 because the distances are the same. So that's how we can solve the inequality based on that interpretation uh, as follows by identifying which x values are closer to four. And here we see that they must be all x such that x is greater than negative nine halves. Of course, it's not always the case that you can uh, transform an uh, inequality or an equation into uh, something you can interpret geometrically. But if, if you could, I think it's a neat thing to do. All right, and your solution is consistent. All X values which are greater than negative nine halves. All right. Ito, um, what I labeled one, two, and three, I would be comfortable referring to, re referring to them as cases. All right, because either x is less than negative 13, that's the first case, or x is between four and negative 13, or x is greater than or equal to four. So these are the three cases here. And then from the um, discussion about sequences and series, so, um, Marimpang leftover. Ito, um, a sub a sub a sub three. So, um, tama naman ng sagot, 820. At some point, we had to make a decision regarding which of these two would be the common difference. And, and yeah, sorry, what's that? So a one po is ten. If mm -hmm. uh, b is if b is negative fifteen, uh, then a two should be negative. And mm -hmm. the original number. So all right, all right. Just me, para me original number that dapat always positive, so must be six to five. Okay. Uh, so, so in other words, hindi pwede ng negative 15 because if, so actually precisely what you said, if D is negative 15 since A1 equals 10, then what would happen is that A2 would be negative 5, di ba? All right. 
So uh, yes, so I think you're able to see that. So D cannot be negative 15, forcing us to conclude that D must be six. So however, I, I'm going to also be on the lookout for the reasons you're going to present because for uh, what, what, what you put here, it's not really so much that A sub A sub two is greater than A sub one. But I think the more immediate reason is because hindi pwede nung d equal to negative 15. Kasi as you said, a2 would be negative and that's going to be bad because, well, it cannot be a subscript. But, uh, well, that, that's why we put here the condition that all the terms of the sequence, not just up to a sub 3, but a sub 4, a sub 5 onwards, they are all supposed to be positive integers. If the common difference is negative, even if A2 is still positive, and even if A3 or even if A10 is still positive, but then what's gonna happen is that further down the line, some term of the arithmetic sequence will be negative. So that's the reason why D cannot be negative 15. All right, so it's not so much that it's because a sub a sub two is greater than a sub one, which is 10. I mean, that's correct, 100 is greater than 10. But when we present reasons, let's try to give the most immediate reason. Uh, all right, so, so in, in this case, because if D is negative, some terms will turn out to be negative. All right, so ito may be uh, no miss lang, but I, I think this is uh, not going to be that difficult. But anyway, since I wrote it there. So ito, um, that's correct. Uh, also correct. Ito, I, I feel uh, typo lang. You, you, you meant a sub 3 equals 0 rather than a sub 3 equal to 9. All right, but, but I was able to figure it out from the rest of your solution. Um, Right. So my, my request would be, um, I, I know there are some things that you could do mentally, but halimbawa, it, uh, the, the, this part, when you solve for N and you, you got 12, did you do this mentally? Because if you didn't solve it mentally, uh, it, it's better to include how you got to the conclusion that n is equal to 12. So for example, uh, here, uh, the, this, uh, the, the details I added show that there's actually one more root, which is negative seven, but obviously is not possible. Negative seven is an extraneous root. Perica said, suppose we ended up with n minus 12 multiplied by n minus three. So then three isn't really extraneous. So then you would have to find another reason. Why can't N, why can it not be equal to three? All right, so instead of uh, going straight to the conclusion that N is equal to 12. All right, so that would be, uh, that, that would help make your written solutions better in the long run. If N equals three points, so pretty obvious no one point. Kasi A1 plus A2 plus A2 equals 9 lang. Uh -huh. You have to show that. Mm, show oh. Then, para pakita mo lang na ano. Ginamit example ng N minus 12 times N minus 3. But it could have been N minus 12 times N minus 5. Sa sabi ko nga sa kanya, sir, ano eh. Wala, baka yung idea namin iba sa idea mo. Or, mm -hmm. kanyari, yung mental, skill, mental math skills mo iba sa amin. So, hindi namin makikita oh. mo. So, pakita right, mo sa right, akin. Right. Kasi ako, tanong, tanong po ako na tanong doon sa solution niya rin eh. Saan nakuha ito? Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi ko uh -huh. masabay. Unless na i-explain niya, ah, ganun pala. Mm -hmm. Dapat i-put everything that is pertinent to the solution. Right, right, right. In, in terms of ano nung mga decision making, halimbawa kung ano naman, kanwari 12 times 7, kung kanwari arithmetic computations, as far as para sa akin, hindi na kailangan ilagay yun. Pero kasi, uh, I think ang criteria natin, uh, is this step going to be some uh, a step where a decision may have to be made? So in yung akin, n minus 12 times n minus 9 is equal to 0. So n equals 12 and then n equals 9. 
So, kasi 9 is not um, positive ng 9 eh. So, kung ganito, bakit no 12 ang pinili mo and not 9? So, ano nung dahilan mo for re removing 9? Ito kasi nakita ko ng solution na to where I place a star. It's a quadratic eh. So, dalawa nung possible solutions and then you ended up with 12. So, I think uh, what would have helped is for you to have paparam pointed out. Paparam dito. Um, a decision had to be made between the common difference of 6 and negative 15. So, ito yung pointed out, t equal to negative 15 is 6 trade. So, something like that. All right. So, um, uh, correct naman. Yay! So, when you get the chance, so uh, do do try to find uh, time. So, itong uh, first some of the first seven terms is forty nine. Some of the first seventeen terms is two hundred eighty nine. So, I I like that you are forming your conjectures, even though I didn't ask for it. Pero um, it is a pattern. So, even if the conjecture doesn't hold. But, but I, I think it's good to develop that habit of forming conjectures, and that's what you did. And indeed, the sum of the first 24 terms is 576. In fact, you're going to ask, for this particular arithmetic series, we have uh, everything that we need because you have the first, the common difference two, and then the first term one. Is the sum of the first n terms always going to be n squared or perfect squared? And so you could uh, maybe explore that when you get the chance. For geometric sequences and series, meron pa yata dito na... Sir, ito po, nakita pa si Fibonacci at po meron siyang ganun. Kanya, sorry? So one plus, yung mga odd numbers, kasi po parang sa si Galileo, kasi di ba po yung acceleration is uh, meter second per, per s, di ba po, uh, meter, se uh, meter squared per second. So Galileo po was observing it would increase one foot, one one foot distance per time, and then the next time mm -hmm. eight distance, and then five, seven, nine, in an odd number sequence. Baka yun po yung parang ano po parang uh, pattern. pattern po, which is pattern uh, pattern. Nakita po eh, kasi yung d uh -huh. po is two and then a one equals one, so one plus d yung mga odd numbers. Okay. So actually, that's it. We have to be very attuned to patterns, all right? And then, although finding patterns is not the end of it, we have to justify that the pattern really does hold. But it all starts with observing the pattern. All right, so, uh, um, so when you get the chance, do uh, give it a shot. Do try it out. So today is December 23. Today is Wednesday. Okay. Um, I, I wanted to talk about sequences and series. It, uh, um, I don't know if you've already seen this. Evaluate uh, the following sum. 1 over 1 times 2 plus 1 over 2 times 3. It's a, it's a common problem. Po, nakita ko po yan. Parang, it's like a test po for series. Okay. Uh, so, n times okay. 2 na po siya eh. N over n times n plus 1. Mm -hmm. So, you, you see that the denominators are of the form, the product of two consecutive integers. So, yes, you're right. Uh, you can represent each term as n times n plus 1. And because you're adding these terms, then you can write it as a sum. What's being replaced is n. Okay, n is, um, wait, it's not effective. I should choose a different color. So, so nung n, ano siya, at first 1, 2, 3, and then 99. So that means n runs from 1 all the way to 99. But if you've seen this before, um, do you uh, remember 
uh, how to actually evaluate this sum. I think Anna, I remember it as an out of the box question. They say uh, one over two po is one minus one half, and then the uh -huh. next one will be one minus two thirds. So, uh, wait a minute. Hindi pala po ah. Uh, one over six pala is one half minus one third. And then the next one will be one third minus one fourth. So, pag in-evaluate na po yun, you'll see a lot of things will cancel out. Actually nga po yung, uh, there are some questions po, hindi na po 99 po eh. Talagang uh, 1 over n times n plus 1 po, find the sum in terms of n. Parang okay, all right. So, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, can, can you repeat your argument? Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where, where to start with this. So, the, the, the first term is 1 minus 1 half. And then you said 1 okay. minus... One half, one half minus one third. Ah, all right. The, the second term is one half minus one third. The next is? One third minus one fourth. Maga cancel out. All right. Half. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, the, the sum is, so if you call this S, so the sum is, so the one over one times two, that's uh, one minus one half. And then one six is one half minus one third. And then one over 12 is one third minus one fourth until the very last one over 99 times 100 is one over 99 minus one over 100. Is this what you're saying? I'm going to cancel out all of them until um, negative one over 100. So 99 over 100. Ayun, ano po lupulo siya? New sum na po is n over n plus one. In, in general, if uh, we replaced n by something, uh, by some variable. So this is what you're saying, no? Matitaraw, my, 1 minus 1 over 100. So this would be 99 over 100. So what would you're saying in general? So if you have the sum as n runs from 1 to, anyway, I already use small n, but we're not in big n as a replacement. So making one minus one half plus one half minus one third plus dot 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 mangyayari. The very last would be one over big N minus one over big N plus one. Everybody would disappear except one and minus one over N plus one. So nine, so n over n plus one. All right. Have you encountered uh, sums like this before? Yes, po. Meron nga po para extended version po na instead of just one times two. Because it's very easy nga po to see eh, technically. Magiging mm -hmm. mabilis na po eh. One half is one six, tapos in one twelve. Ah, there are differences. Pero may parang ano po siya eh, one over one times two times three. The next one is one times one over two times three times four. So, All right. So this is an. All right. So this is an example of uh, what's referred to as a telescoping series or a telescoping sum. So in, in a telescoping series, so you, you are um, adding up sums uh, from one to somewhere, big N. Tapos no form is something like this. F of n plus 1 minus F of n. Okay. So no, each term can be expressed as a difference, but not just any difference, but a difference where a lot of things are going to cancel. So para mangyayari, when small n is 1, you have F of 2 minus F of 1. When small n is 2, you have f of 3 minus f of 2. And then finally, when small n is equal to big N, you have f of big N plus 1 minus f of big N. So lots of things are going to cancel. No, f of 2, f of 3, f of n, leaving us with... So, you know. Uh, para po siyang, ano yung... Yes, it's uh, yun talagang, is it the, how it's uh, said po, di ba yung, nung mantens ko po yung mga nasa books po, parang yung gumagang ganun. 
Sorry, and say that again. Yung real tense po po na parang yung luma, yung gumagal, nag nagko-collapse uh, na ano. po po mm -hmm. Nagko-collapse, nagko-collapse. Oh. Uh, uh nung lens ng telescope which collapses into it, collapses into itself. All right. Okay. So, well, okay. So that's a good thing that you're familiar with telescoping series. It's just ano uh, um let's just quickly then try uh some series so how about uh, one over four plus one over 28 plus one over 70 plus dot 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 plus one over nine seven hundred nine thousand seven hundred so uh one over, shot. one over one times four, and then the next one will mm -hmm. be one over four times seven. The next one will be one over seven plus zero. And then the final one, actually in general, it will just be one over whatever came before mm -hmm. times n plus three. Right. So one over nine. Okay. Four, 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 four times seven. All right, seven times ten. Um, this. If, if nine, nine thousand seven hundred is uh n times n plus three, mm -hmm. then ay yun nga po, So n runs from one up to ninety-seven. Okay. So how? So can, can you try to evaluate this? It's similar in a way, but then different since the n n n plus is now three, not one. So oh. So the idea is that each term we want to be able to write this as a difference. All right. Kanina, the general term was one over n times n plus one. And it turns out that one over n times n plus one can be written as one over n minus one over n plus one. Yeah, if it is possible, I will make it as a partial factor. Yeah. Oh. Uh, So can, can you uh, try to think of how to decompose this into partial fractions? Uh, I forgot the, there's a, there's a quick algorithm for this way. There's a very quick one, heavy side data na, heavy side uh, you know, method for partial fractions. All right, so let's talk about, uh, or perhaps this is the method that you were thinking of. All right, so I'm going to write something. Is this what you were thinking of? One over n times n plus three equals one over n, sorry, a over n plus b over n plus three, and then find a and b. Is this what you perhaps were uh, thinking of? We may have to in very fast. Okay, but 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 is it but 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 this method that you were thinking of is it f finding out what a and b are? Oh, it is actually there. There's there are actually there's actually another way to do that. I just uh, do not remember what. Okay, so so uh, for, so this for, equation for pieces that up and equals zero. Yeah, I think ganun po na. Pag, uh, if n is negative 3 po, then the n plus mm -hmm. will become 0. And then you'll be left with b times negative 3 is equal to 1. So, b over neg one, b equals uh, 1 over negative, uh, what? b equals one, uh, negative 1 over 3. Mm -hmm. And then po, pag, uh, All right. So in other words, 
one over n, n plus three equals a, which is one over n, uh, well, a, which is one third, so one third over n, and then b is negative one third, so minus one third over n plus three, right? So, so this is the partial. So, did, uh, so did, this is a partial fraction decomposition. All based on the fact that uh, this uh, partial fraction decomposition, it's supposed to be an identity. So, it's supposed to be true for all n. So, first you could plug in n equal to two or n equal to five, and then whatever equation you end up getting is supposed to solve for a and b. But it's so much faster to find a and b by plugging in the values negative three and zero for n. All right. Um, so partial fraction decomposition is gonna work. So you want to say something? So you one over one third over n could be expressed as one over three n. Tapos yun isa naman for one over three. So, ah, di pa pwede. Hold on, hold on. All right. All right. Okay. You know, one, one, one over three and four. So maga cancel all of them until one over three and the person in your final term. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, let, let's uh, know. I, I do want to talk about um another way to find the partial fraction decomposition. Because again, uh, we are hoping that this is going to end up as a telescoping series. All right. So if A and B were different, if A and B were different, so like uh, we ended up with seven over n minus five over n plus three. Mangyayari, when n is equal to 1, you would have 7 over 1 minus 7 over 4 when n is equal to 1. When n is equal to 2, you would have 7 halves minus, sorry, 5 but I'm not 5, minus 5 over 5. When n is equal to 3, you would have 7 thirds minus all right, five over six. When n is four, you we would have seven over four minus five over seven. But because seven and five are different, mangyayari, minus five fourths and seven fourths will not cancel. Diba? Okay, which means, if uh, we want a telescoping series, yeah, uh, so, so you, you would want the numerators to be the same. In fact, you, you could even write it in the following form, A over N minus B over N plus three. Because if you're trying to gun for a telescoping series, you, you, we should anticipate that there will be subtractions, all right? We should hope that A and B are the same, or else we wouldn't have many terms canceling each other. All right, so kasi kunwari if yun nga, A and B turned out to be seven and five, so you, you would have five over four minus five over four, but the fraction that would have neutralized it, that would have canceled it with the same denominator of four, it would be seven over four, not five over four. So they're not gonna cancel. So if we are hoping to have a telescoping series, what we should do is start with, one over n minus one over n plus three. Then let's see, what will this give us? It will be n, n plus three. 
but then when you simplify the, the numerator will be three. But since in the expression that we're working with, the terms are one over n, n plus three, then all we gotta do is with the equation that we currently have, let's uh, keep the denominator n over n plus three, but for the numerator to be one, then we just have to divide by three. So one third, one over n minus one over n plus three. All right, so you know. Uh, we ended up with the same uh, fact here, all right? But we didn't have to consciously uh, have to solve for two values A and B. Okay. So now that uh, we have the correct decomposition, so in one fourth plus one over 28, one over 9,700, so sum one over n, n plus three, and from, uh, wait, what did I write there? Did I write, oh yeah, one up to 97, correct. One up to 97. So now we can replace, get the one over n plus three with, uh, this one. <laughs> one third, one over n minus one over n plus three. So um, one third is a constant coefficient. So let's just uh, worry about the difference when n is one. So we have one over one minus one over four when n equals two, one half minus one fifth, when n equals three, one third minus one over six, when n equals four, one fourth minus one over seven plus that, that, that. And now because the numerators are the same, then we finally see this minus one fourth being canceled by that one fourth. Okay, and then towards the end, uh, we would have when n is 97, 96, 95. So 95 minus one over 98, 96 minus one over 99, one over 97 minus one over 100. And actually be before this, it would have been one over 94 minus one over 97. So the, the things that would cancel are, so 97, 97. In fact, everything with a lower denominator, we're gonna be left with one over one, one half, one third, minus one over 98, one over 99, one over 100. So we end up with six fractions inside the brackets, one plus one half, plus one third minus one over 98, minus one over 99, minus one over 100. But well, that, that's definitely so much easier. And I am gonna leave that. So I'm not gonna continue that anymore. All right, good talk. All right, let, let's try this. one over one times two times three, one over two times three times four, plus dot, 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 one over um, 99, 100. Let's make this a, um, so that there are 100 terms, 100, 101 times 102. So in summation form, uh, 
and sorry, 100 terms on pala. N plus 1, N plus 2. Panayan, there are three factors in the denominator. If you're going to try to um, decompose the general term into partial fractions, I suppose you could try it. Pwede, pwede mong subukan. Okay. Uh, how about I leave this to you? I, I'm, I'm going to put a green box here. Okay. I'm going to put a green box here. In fact, I can think of two solutions Wait, for this. Sorry, what's Uh, ah, ito na extended. Okay. Uh, you could try first ano, um, partial fraction decomposition for this. All right. Um, pwede mo isulat um, A over N plus B over N plus 1 plus C over N plus 2. Now, this is a bit different because each denominator has three factors. So what exactly is going to happen? Tignan natin. But even if you're unable to solve this fully, do give me an update next time we meet about what you were able to do. And um, even if it fails, no? Kasi maybe there is some path that we could take it uh, based on your solution. All right, so uh, let's talk about this next time. Okay, but, but I do want to talk about other telescoping series uh, about this. The sum. Evaluate this sum. Are you familiar with um, rationalizing the denominator? You know, just uh, as, long, as long as there's a square the denominator is uh, wrong. Yeah. All right. The, the, the thing to say with um, these fractions is that the, the, the numerators are simple. It's the denominators which are complicated. But most of the time when we're adding fractions involving radicals in the denominators, we want the radicals to be in the upper level, in the numerator, and not in the denominator. So, mas madrik si mag if the denominators are integers. I mean, we're with, with fractions, uh, even in grade school, uh, addition of fractions, we want the denominators to be nice. We want the denominators to be same, to be the same. In this sum, the denominators are ugly. So, we want to make the denominators nicer. Are familiar with rationalizing the denominator? So, yung bakatri ka po dito, di ba? Ano, uh, all of them, par po siyang yung una po, di ba po? Yung uh, 1 over 1 times 2. If you can combine them into one number, and then if there is a pattern between those two numbers. You, you uh, mean the square root of 1 and the square root of 2? We, we can't add them. Let's say if, if you look at the square root of 2 plus the square root of 3, there's just no way to add them. But you will turn them into like a square root of six or something. Mm. Rationalize the denominator. 
Uh, so anyway, are, are you familiar with rationalizing the denominator or, or not? Okay, so ito, what we can do is multiply by the conjugate. Uh, anong conjugate ang ano? Square root of 1 minus square root of 2 over square root of 1 minus square root of 2. All right. Okay, square root of 1 minus square root of 2. Kasi mangyayari, the denominator will become 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. So the sense of being... Yung sa mga iba naman po, ano po eh, di ba? Uh, 1 minus 2, so next 1, 2 minus 3, laging negative 1 yung denominator. Oh. So what do you think is the next term going to be? The second term? Uh, square root of 3 minus square root of 2. Mm -hmm. Ah, so they will cancel, except square root, uh -huh. square root of 1. So telescoping din siya. Telescoping, but uh, more mind, uh, more mind junk, junk, because it's not the issue of the square root of 2, square root of 2, square root of 2. So it may, may be not that apparent because we had to first rationalize the denominator. All right. Because with regards to you know adding fractions with radicals in the denominator, we could when we first look at it uh, get mind boggled because well how are we going to uh, work this out? But then if we rely on you know um, experience from arithmetic, let's try to make the denominators nicer. And so that so that's what's going to happen here. So everything will disappear except square root of 100 minus the square root of one. Oh, hey. Oh, which means the answer is actually an integer nine. All right. So I'll be doing some examples, but the others, I'm gonna leave it to you. So, ito, try natin. So, let me write it uh, down first. Uh, sum of terms 1 over 2 factorial. Uh, para po siyang, I think it's uh it can be expressed as a recursive series K from one to n k over k plus one factorial. Okay. Uh as a recursive sequence, yes. Oh, oh. Kasi na lang. um maybe what we could try doing is see if the term, each term, k over k plus one factorial, maybe we can write it as a difference. Because yung ano po yung ko po yung yung one over two factorial plus one over three factorial. Pero na po yung uh, ano? Oh, the one. Pero yung pero pero pa din na po ng gawin parang yung ah uh, one over two plus two over three yung pagganon po gagawin na po ang triangular para each of them have their own seat. Mm. Oh, are, are you talking about, no, no, sorry, sorry, my, my, my pen stop. Ito ba niisip mo 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial? Sabi mo meron na tong, I, alam na nung, wait, you, you said something about this earlier. What was that? Pwede na po, pwede na po ang gawin ganyan po. Tapos lang kasi there are, there are, one over one factorial is just one. So, pwede na po yung discard yun. Yeah. So, Actually, we didn't even start with one over one yeah. factorial. So, we started with... Ah, okay. You, you were uh, thinking of uh, doing it like this. Uh, one over three factorial plus... Pwede po. Oba, parang triangle. Ah, uh, tapos nung one over factor... One over four factorial. This time, there's going to be three of them. Okay, so Kasanala, we would need to figure out each row. So we would end up with you know, 1 over n plus 1 factorial 
one over m plus one factorial. Okay, so I see that uh, we don't have uh, a sum for each of the rows. Eh? We don't have a sum for each of the rows. So the, the, the first time I saw this, it, I, I thought it, it was cool. All right. But like I say, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see that this is a telescoping series. Uh, the question is, how exactly are we going to do that now in the... Uh, doesn't look like a telescopic series. It looks like a normal series. Oh, uh, well, right, right now. But here's what we could do. I'm gonna add something and subtract the same thing. Oh, yung classic na ano yung ginagawa Oh. Okay, what do you think am I going to add? Uh, one. Yeah. Ah, okay. Kasi, what will that do? K plus one over K plus one factorial, the first term. Uh, how can we rewrite that? How can we simplify that? Three over three factorial. Uh, three over oh. So, so if, if you have, uh, no, can I write three over three factorial, what's that? One over two factorial. Yeah. So the, All right. One, so one over, say, oh, one over K factorial. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one over k factorial minus one over k plus one oh, factorial. Right? And as you can see, they are similar. So kita mo na kung paano magka-cancel. So now this will be um, if k is one, one over one factorial minus one over two factorial plus one over two factorial minus one over three factorial until when k is n so ano mawawala um, lots of these the intermediate terms leaving us with these two so we have one one over one factorial that's just one minus one over n plus one's factorial all right. I'd like you to try the following when you get the time for it. And I'm looking at my notes. Not necessarily a telescoping series. That this I'm uh, just talking about series in general. Kind of looks like when one plus three plus five and then so on equals n squared. Mm -hmm. This time, what we are adding though are not consecutive integers, but consecutive odd integers.
kasi nga po yung bendin po yung parang triangular. Kasi it's just one, not one, may un, there's just one at first, there's just one. And then there will be two more na, there will be two na, there will be two na three plus five and so on. And then there will be another two na five and then so on. Hold on, so the young, I, I think this is not what I intended. Hold on, the young, <laughs> I was writing these down earlier. Okay, actually, this was not what I intended at the start. Okay, sorry. Sorry, let, let me rephrase. Uh, let me change this. Okay, so what are the first n odd integers? So n squared. Are, are you so you're, you're already familiar with this? Sorry, what, what's the sum? And squared. All right. Uh, so actually, you know, sa nung, nung kanina na nung we with seventeen terms and then twenty four terms. So tell me, is this something that you just remembered, or what was this something that you sh that that you were able to see the solution for? I just remembered that like uh recently, ngayon po, nare nare realize ko po yan ay yung ginawa po ni Fibonacci yung equals to n squared. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh so anyway, let, let, let's talk about um different ways of uh proving this. So first is um solution one. Just realize that this is an arithmetic series. Can, with first you can just do it from the book. Oh so by the sum will be S sub n. So there are n terms, n over two. That was the first term is one. The last term is two n minus one. So this is gonna be two n times n over two. So that's gonna be n squared. So you know, yun, right away. Or did this would be totally not necessary anymore. But uh, the sum of the, well, you, you can represent the odd integers in the following way as um, 2k minus 1, where k runs from 1 to n. If k equals 1, 2k minus 1 gives you the first term 1. If k equals 2, 2k minus 1 equals 3, and so on. So using uh, properties of summation, this is two times the sum of k, as k runs from one to n, minus the sum as k runs from one to n of ones. But then the, the first summation is one plus two plus all the way to n. So the sum of the first uh, n odd integers, n times n plus one over two, minus, you're adding once, how many times, n times, so you get this. And then when you simplify, you're going to end up with m squared. Right. So this is um, actually what I was thinking of. But, well, since I already wrote it down, maybe you could try it when you get the chance. What about the squares? If this is, if this is any people, I will start a conjecture. All right, then. Kasi na lang, so, so when I wrote that, one squared, one squared plus, three squared, one, ten. 
and then plus 25, 35. Right. Anyway, you, you can try it out. Okay. See if you can come, uh, come up with a conjecture. But when you get the chance. I'm looking at my notes and see if as far as, oh, okay. This time we don't have a sum, but a product with many, many factors. Um, uh, corresponding to summation to the uh, so summation notation we, we use for sums, uh, we can write this in the following form. So each of the factors is a form one minus one over k squared, where k is replaced by two by three onwards to one hundred. But because we're not adding these terms, we're multiplying them. So we use the following symbol, big pi. You're familiar with this, the pi notation for products? Big pi, product summation. Mm -hmm. All right, well, not really summation. All right, notation, product notation. Production. All right. I know, maybe there's a pattern. There is a pattern. It's uh, harder since ano po siya is a product. There must mm. be, now instead of like, instead of subtraction, there could be deletion. Mm -hmm. One over two squared, one minus two squared, three fourths, and then. So earlier we had to rewrite each add and this time we have to rewrite each factor. Uh, baka ano po siya. So, 3 fourths is 3 times 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. What if you just uh, make it like that po? Para maga consolation. And then the next one will become, what if it's not necessary? Uh -huh. 3 over 2 times 2. The next one will be 8 over 3 times 3. Oh, I see something. The next one will be 15 over 4 times 4. There is division. <laughs> Although. Okay, let me 
three over two over two uh, two times two next one will be three times Each factor is a difference, right? The difference of what? Uh, the difference of one and one over n squared. All right, one and one over k squared. And what is so special about one and k, one and one over k squared? I mean, well, many different things can be said about them. But k squared minus one over k. Ah, k squared minus one is can be factored into k plus one mm -hmm. times k minus k minus one. So it's k right. minus k minus one uh, times k minus one all over k squared. And then the next one will be also in that form. Uh, That's what you're saying, right? So the next one will be also in that form. So that means actually you're you're onto something. So uh, the, the the first term one the first factor uh, is when k is equal to two. So you could write it as uh, following the formula inside the box. One times three over two times two. I was saying a pattern for it in the numerators. Pag eight over nine, kasi po two times four. Tapos sa next sa matutuloy. It's uh, not. It's not. It's technically. It's technically a telescoping series. Although the parang the the series is more more parang is more uh more collapsed on itself. Kasi parang buma but instead of being exactly on spot for with the next the, with the next factor hmm. it's a little back so, so so you have to skip but that's uh similar to what happened here you remember one four plus one over 28 plus dot 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 the cancellation didn't happen right away we had to wait so we got this uh minus one over fourth appearing early on eventually it got canceled but it was canceled much later. But, but back here, so if we try to uh, fill in the gaps, the next term would be a denominator of five times five with numerator four times six. Um, if you can see, you can make, build the cross from both of them. There's a three canceling with three and then the two will cancel with two, four will cancel with four, the other three will be canceled with three. Mm -hmm. Five will be canceled. So so all of those, all of those will cancel out. It will just end up until the last one. So the last one is uh one hundred. So one hundred one of oh, ninety-nine times one hundred one. One hundred one. Okay, so it's one hundred one over one hundred. Right. Okay. Right. So this time, instead of the sums collapsing upon themselves, it's the factors. So now it's just. Uh, huh? oh, sorry. What well, made a mistake? One over two hundred. Yay. Yay. Okay. 
Ito. So, uh, what I'd like you to try on your own, naman. Possible to have parang antal scoping series with exponents are uh, rather, but the exponents are logarithm, so they will cancel on each other. Telescoping series with yeah oh oh so exponents. Well, where 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 when where, when we find one, all right. But let's see how it works. So you can uh, try this out on your own. Again, that is like parang ano po yan, na uh, k, k minus one times k plus one, and then the other one will be k minus two. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So it, uh, at least we are now attuned to, um, well, this time, if you want a, Karina, if you want a sum to be done easily, you would want some of them to cancel each other. So that's what happened. This time, because we are potentially multiplying a lot of factors, we, we would want a lot of them to cancel each other. And so that's why it would help to see how the, the, the individual factors can be factored. All right. Um, now, I'd like to talk about a particular method of proving. Are, are you familiar with math induction? Or have, have you, wait, I, I think I've asked you this before. From, uh, from little knowledge, you'll get more, more knowledge to. All right, okay, okay, so guess again, yeah. I'm opening my Thank you, sir. Say uh, actually, sir. Yes, uh, yeah. very little influence pa lang ibang tao, eh, no? So I, I taught him when he was young. And then we bought like a, a mini library for him. So mostly mm -hmm. lahat self-exploration -explor po yung mga alam niya. So na, nakakatawa rin at least may natutunan din pala siya kahit pa paano. Kasi we, we cannot okay. validate kung tama ba. Buti na dyan po mm -hmm. kayo Oh, uh, nung, nung induction, so... So, hindi uh, namin alam kung... Hindi ko, alam, hindi ko rin masabi kung na-expose na ba siya or something dahil... Anyway, I, I remember Joshua distinguished between induction and deduction. Okay. Uh, before, di ba? All right. Uh, but, but now, mathematical induction is a specific way of proving... So we we do uh, uh, proven techniques. We to specify the point if you're going to which which method you're going to use uh reduction and absurd ba uh induction or deduction. Sorry, what 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 are those terms you mentioned? Yung ano, uh proof by uh proof by contradiction. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, different ways of proving. So ayun, actually, uh, we, we could explore those. But since we're talking about sequences and series, so I think this naturally leads to uh, proving by mathematical induction. All right. So mathematical induction is a useful tool. It's not that hindi naman ang magpapabigay ng test where you have to uh, write down a definition word for word. All right. But uh, let me write something down. It's a useful tool in proving properties of positive integers. So for example, Okay. Okay. So we can prove the following 
via mathematical, or I'll just write it down as math induction. So one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n equals n times n plus one over two. Now, I know this is a statement that we can prove without using mathematical induction, all right? Because we recognize that the series here is an arithmetic series. And as far as arithmetic series are concerned, we, we have a formula which we have also justified. We just need to know the first term, the last term, and how many terms there are. Sorry, you were saying something. When the sig is even a if what if there was no formula for C, the C equal to C Gauss, how would you tackle it? Oh, oh, oh. So, so that's where I started with. So that's what I started with. Halimbawa, ng mga sums na binigay ko before, I wanted you to develop them. I wanted you to find your way through them. Okay, because when you're going to prove a statement like this, um, parang given na nung n, n plus 1 over 2 eh. All right. But if the statement happens to already be provided, then I wanted to illustrate how we can use mathematical induction to prove it. But of course, it's a different story. Uh, saan nang galing nung n, n plus 1 over 2? And besides, we can also use mathematical induction to prove other statements involving positive integers. And these statements, these properties, do not involve sums. So other statements we can prove via mathematical induction, which does not use sums. So ito, uh, th 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 this is just an example. So, um, yes. You wanted him to develop. Actually, yun lang po naturo sa kanya. Kasi hindi naman ako math, BS math graduate or something. Kaya okay. when I was a student, I was telling him, my I was living with my grandfather who was a doctor. So, Mm -hmm. I was, I was, uh, he was always telling me, oh, wag ka na pumasok sa school. Mas marami ka matututunan na sa farm. So he was yeah. always bringing me to the farm and he will make a medical certificate for my absences. So ako, pagpasok ko sa school, may exam. So masama, sabi ko sa kanya, kaya alam niya induction po. From, from small knowledge, I will just uh, find my way into solving the problem. So, yung mga nang bata po siya, I wanted him to become interested in math. Nobody believed mm -hmm. it. When he was young, ayaw na ayaw niya po yung math. Kasi, pag um, sabihin ko, we will be to, uh, studying numbers, sabihin niya, na si CR daw siya, natatai daw po siya. <laughs> so, so, I was <laughs> sa numbers. Tapos, and I wanted him to, I wanted to teach him uh, mga tricks sa math. Kunyari yung mga dates, mga ganun po. I did not know them. I, I, I just thought of them na pat, sabi ko, ito, ganito yung ginawa ko. Hindi ko alam na may formula pala sa mga yun po kasi we were not uh, using the internet much before na mm -hmm. bata siya. So yun, induction lang. So ganun po yung pagkakarakob sa kanya at pagkakaturo lang. So lahat yun, tuma, pati itong mga ghosts, minanumano mina, mina, namin po yan. Last, actually, last... Mm -hmm. Last year ba? Last year, no? Hindi last year rin eh. Hindi, sa nag-submit tayo. So, meron pong kaibigan ako sa uh, uh, US na sabi sa akin, meron po yata isang museum, math museum or something sa... Sa New York, may, may math may museum sa New York. May, may math museum sa New York na may competition daw for a toy. So, kami, we, we, we made the toy na parang ghost yung ginamit po namin. Kaya lang, hindi po yata kami qualify kasi wala kaming degree sa math <laughs> something o tapos wala kaming institution na yung pa, ghost cube eh, no yes parang ganoon eh parang pong ano eh yun pong toy sabi nga namin sa dapat pala may, we're connected with somebody na ano <laughs> kasi hindi hindi tinanggap po yung ano kasi daw wala something na ano po yun dapat meron yatang degree sa math or something Hindi na, hindi na tinignan yung ano namin yung entry. Okay, although, well, I guess I have to look into the specifics. Uh, and uh, I mean, the, there might be other math museums, pero in, in the U.S., pero nung sa New York, nung alam ko that there could be others in other places. Although, I mean, I don't know the nature of the contest, but I would imagine 
that they should accept entries regardless of the background to say if their purpose is the you know uh encouraging people to do math then they, they should be open to different backgrounds regardless of you know ano yung napag-aralan na ng mentor okay so anyway uh ito as far as mga statements like this are concerned uh mga mga sums so kung given na nung kasi halimbawa mag kunwari mag conjecture ka di ba you, you realize oh hey 1 plus 3 equals oh 2 squared 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals 3 squared so i mean it it it, it does work So what what you end up with is a conjecture, an uh, intelligent guess that oh hey maybe when we look at one plus three plus five plus seven plus uh uh um nineteen so is this gonna be uh ten squared so that 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 that's a conjecture and then that that might be you to But is the sum of the first uh, n odd integers really equal to n squared? So uh, uh, this is an arithmetic series. So we could use what we know about arithmetic series. But sometimes the conjecture we end up coming with, what if hindi siya arithmetic series? All right. But but I have a feeling. Oh, it should be n squared. All right. So one method of proving that is by mathematical induction. Okay. Sometimes it's possible to come up with the sum without using mathematical induction, but sometimes if you already have the sum and you just want to show that this works, then you could prove math induction. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, example lang naman to eh, ng ano ng math induction. Pwede siyang gamitin to prove other statements. So for example, um. We can prove this statement that this is true for all positive integers n. We could also use math induction to prove the following: n is less than two to the n for all positive integers n. So kita mo no statement n less than 2 to the n it's a statement which involves positive integers you could verify one is less than 2 to the first check two is less than uh two squared check three is less than uh two to the third power check because three is less than nine it could even check that 10 is less than two to the tenth power I mean, it's getting fairly obvious that no two to the n is gonna get so much larger than n. But how do we know that this inequality really is true for all positive integers? Isabel, let me give another example. Okay. And these are yes, go go on. Because if I what if kaya fraction? Yung n, o kaya negative. Yung negative, obvious naman po, hindi naman ganun naman. Oo, oh, oh, oh. okay. Pero actually, ito, pero ito, I, I, I'd like to point out, we are proving these for positive integers n. Actually, even if, um, I, I think x less than 2 to the x will be true when x is equal to 4.5. So, so hindi na integers. All right? So ito, this is a general statement. Pero I just want to uh, illustrate in the next few sessions, mathematical induction. And you use it when you're proving properties or statements involving positive integers. Ito is um, Prove that n squared plus 7n is divisible by 2. For all positive What? integers n. So yeah, you, you have an observation about this? Uh, no. Uh, what? Divisible by two? 
Oh, so prove that it, so prove that it's even, whatever n is. So in this question, if uh if because hindi naman po mm -hmm. the ano naman po dito eh, uh, the sign doesn't matter. Hindi naman po siya ano so yes. if it's uh, if the number is odd, then actually, if n is odd, you can just turn it into ano po eh, n times n plus seven. So yes. N, then n will be still odd, and then the n plus seven naman will be even. even right. Even. But then if it's even itself, n itself will be even. And then kahit na yung n plus seven is odd, even times odd is still even. So perfect, odd. perfect. In fact, as far as n squared plus seven n is concerned, that is the much easier argument towards showing that n squared plus seven n is divisible by two. But, but just the same, uh, let's see how we can justify this by math induction. Okay, let me add another statement of a similar flavor. Prove that 10 raised to n plus 1 plus 3 times 10 to the n plus 5 is divisible by 9. Well, it's, a, it's a quadratic equation. Actually, you can solve it. But it's not necessary. I am it wrong. It's not a quadratic equation technically. Uh, I mean, you can you can turn into thirteen times ten to the n plus five, and then uh, how's that? You, you could turn this into thirteen times ten to the n plus five. Oh, yes. Divisible by five. Uh, the the five point makes a huge difference. Uh, mm -hmm. but nine. Well, I push it to unit digit because nine all oh, the multiples of nine have five digit. Oh yeah. Uh, uh Thirteen times for all positive integers n plus. So if if all of them are positive integers. Then wala pong n, n, n equals zero. Then it means the five is always the unit's digit. And it should be divisible mm -hmm. by nine. Say so that again. Uh, the unit's digit will also will always be five po kasi n is not allowed to be n's not allowed to be zero. So Okay. One three five and then one three oh five, etc. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, actually, so, actually yeah. uh, na po. so okay, so yeah. oh. uh, one plus three plus zero or whatever. No, actually, the mm -hmm. po, well, like, plus five naman, uh, that will always be nine. And yun naman po yung right. uh, divisibility rule ng nine. You can add all the mm -hmm. digital sum, and it will always be nine. Uh, the digital sum is actually nine. So, actually, that's it. This is divisible by nine. All right, so ito. So, that's a good thing being able to explore all the different i know all right pero it does again um four to the three n plus one plus two raised to the three n plus one plus one is divisible by seven for all positive integers n remember correctly for seven is uh, different the visibility rule if it's even possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's you will do the last last digit and then two times the other digits or something like that. Uh, uh, it seems like it's related to that amount box. Alright. Mm -hmm. Pero the the previous two bullet points, uh, n squared plus seven and being even, and then ten and then thirteen times ten to the n plus five being uh divisible by nine so it's possible to prove the claims without using math induction all right but um we we, we could still uh justify for illustrative purposes how you can prove them using math induction so in particular it's the last statement where you have divisibility by seven well you know well, overall it could be divisibility by 13 or you know divisibility by 11 so the, the divisibility rule might not be as easy to consider and like when you're talking about divisibility by nine. So um, it is important that 
to, to know that patterns are useful, but they're not the end of the story. So what do I mean by that? Consider the following claim. M squared minus N plus 41 is prime for all positive integers N. It will look as if na it's just uh it's just they are just multiples of two. But then the next the next after after n plus uh, after n equals five, n mm. equals six and onwards, iba na po yung uh, pattern. Right, 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 right. So if you look at the first few terms, they, they seem to fit a pattern, uh, but I, it turns that that's what you're saying. Po kung ano eh, the, the, the perfect example yung ano po yung from a prime square, ba? You will you mm -hmm. will think that the Fermat primes are prime for these numbers because eventually you will reach six five five three seven. Is it six five five three seven as I've mentioned before? Po, is a extremely mm -hmm. special number. But uh -huh. as Euler has uh, pointed out that the next number is not prime and can be it's uh. Oh, 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 oh. All right, right. So, so, so ultimately, so because for for uh people who are starting out. So it is important to be able to point out patterns, but that's not usually the end of it. So yeah, you have to be able to justify it because if you cannot justify it, then mathematically, you cannot really stand on it because who knows, maybe you haven't looked further. So ito, maybe, is this familiar that the claim that n squared minus n plus 41 is prime? Have you seen this before? Something like that. I know there's there are there are parang there are certain expressions that are uh, prime until a certain number and people on the internet yeah. they're, they're making their own expressions and then posting them on mm -hmm. I think there's a website for Mercen Primes na no, yung largest. So they're just posting it. So may mga gana po na mga quadratic equations, even up to quintic equations that cannot be solved by hand po, by hand po. You can you can re they, yung nagawa po nila, they, it can reach up to thousands of digits uh, thousands of digits po. but then it stops at a certain point okay so ito 41 43 47 53 prime uh, but but can, uh, but but can you think of a value of n for which n squared minus n plus 41 is actually a composite number mm, uh, i think i saw this before when n is when when n is uh, when n is 41 when n is 41 kasi sasabihin ko po sana na all right 41 times i uh, kasi n squared minus n po that's just n times n minus 1 so 41 mm -hmm. times 40 Plus 41 is indeed pala. It's actually 41 times 41, which is 41 squared. Oh, 41 squared. Uh, oh, also, well, 41 squared down. minus 41 plus 41. So it's 41 squared. You're right. You, you ended with 41 squared. So, getting at, so as you can see, oh, hey, it actually does not follow the trend that it's a composite number when n is equal to 41. All right. So, okay. So instead of uh, proving by math induction, it's a one plus two plus three plus n equals n times n plus one over two. Let's uh, try a different series. Okay, prove that. Um, Ito. One squared. Okay. Prove that as uh, the sum as k runs from one to n of k squared 
equals n, n plus one, two n plus one divided by six. I mean, we, we did prove this already a few sessions back. All right, but let's illustrate mathematical induction on this particular problem. So first let me write down, um, how do we prove a statement involving positive integers using mathematical in induction? Okay. Yes. Hello. Uh, sir, uh, so, sir, your, your father said something. Ah, okay, okay. It's okay. Well, uh, I, I'm hearing voices. Or maybe it's from outside. So proving by mathematical induction. So let's say prove uh, prove the statement P sub N for all positive integers N greater than or equal to one. Now P sub N, I'm using this to refer to a statement, the, the statement that we are going to prove. So for example, in the bullet points, this equation itself, this is P sub N. So we want to prove that P sub N is true for all positive integers N. In the second bullet point, this is P sub N. So P sub N is not really just an expression but really the claim, ano nung pinuprove natin? So it's a statement. So in the third bullet point, P sub N is not just N squared plus seven N, but rather this entire statement that N squared plus seven N is divisible by two. Kasi after all, we, what we want to prove is that N squared plus seven N, we want to prove it is divisible by two. So ito nung statement na P sub N. Uh, others would think P sub N is the expression N squared plus seven N, but that can't be right because what does that mean if you're gonna set out to prove prove N squared plus seven N? And it makes it be hindi, right? Proof N squared plus seven N for all positive integers N. Diba? Diba? Parang what, what does that mean? Oh, yeah. But that doesn't make sense. So it uh, so it's actually so what what you're proving is a statement. So may verb. So it may is less than that's a verb. Equals that's a verb. So may may statement talaga. All right. So the, there are two steps. First step. Verify. P sub one. And then step two, okay, assume P sub K is true and show that P sub K plus one will be true. All right. So the reason behind this principle of math induction is uh, the following realization that what we are really proving, so we want to prove that P sub N is true for all positive integers N. So we want to prove that uh, the statement is true when N is equal to one, the statement is true when N is equal to two, the statement is true when N is equal to three. So ito talaga no mga pinuprove natin. We want to prove P sub one, P sub two, P sub three, P sub four onwards. So what we do is in step one, we first verify is P sub one true? Okay. And then after that, in step two, we're gonna show that assuming P sub K is true, will imply that P sub K plus one is also gonna be true. All right, because if we just verified that P sub one is true, then from step two, we show that the, 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 a statement implies the validity or the truthfulness of the next statement. Then because we already know that P sub one is true, hey, that's gonna imply P sub two is true. 
And if P sub two is true, that will imply that P sub three is true. And if P sub three is true, that will imply that P sub four is also going to be true. So it's like Geneto. you have a ladder with infinitely many levels. You want to show that you can actually climb all the levels of the ladder. You can do that by math induction. Show that you are able to climb onto the first level. That would be step one. And step two, show that you have the ability to move on to the next level of the ladder, regardless of where you are. Now, these two things are sufficient because, hey, you are able to move to the first ladder. And because you have shown that you are capable of moving to the next step, then from the first step, you should be able to go to the next, second level from which you could move on to the third level onwards. All right. So step number one, this is the verification step. Okay. So the left-hand side, LHS will be when uh, there's only, so the verification would be when N is equal to one, meaning um, in the summation, there's only one term. So the left-hand side will just be one squared. The value is one. For the right-hand side, one times one plus one, and then two times one plus one, over six, uh, that's an easy enough computation, one. So the right-hand side is the same as the left-hand side. Therefore, the claim P sub N is true when N is equal to one. It will not P sub N. Okay, next. Okay. Oh, I, I used P sub K. So yeah, palitan ko nung index dito sa statement. Um, okay, natin p sub i, the i statement. All right. Okay. Uh, a lot of people call this the induction or the inductive step. Okay. Suppose P sub I is true, where I is the index and in the statement P sub N, N is the number of terms. So suppose the claim, the sum is true for I terms. So suppose one squared plus two squared plus dot, dot, dot plus I squared is equal to i times i plus one times two i plus one over six. So what we need to do is, so just for the sake of clarity, I'm writing down what it is we want to produce. We want to show that the claim P sub n is true this time when n is equal to i plus one. So meaning, we will be looking at a sum having i plus one terms. But then if you look at the fraction n, n plus one, two, n plus one over six, but this time n replaced by i, that will give us i plus one, i plus two, and then twice i plus one plus one, two i plus three over six. Okay. So we are assuming we are supposing P sub I, and we are going to use that to show that P sub I plus one is true. Okay. So let's have a look at the left side of P sub I plus one. It's one squared plus two squared plus dot, 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 plus until the very last term, the square of i plus one. Let me write down the second to the last term, i squared, okay? And then here's what we can do. We are going to use 
what we are supposing, what we are assuming, the claim P sub i, which says that the sum of the first i terms is equal to i, i plus one, to i plus one over six. So it's basically using the statement to prove it itself? Um, using an earlier version, using p sub i to prove the later version, p sub i plus one. So note that the statement we're proving is actually not just a single statement, but infinitely many statements, p sub one, p sub two, p sub three, p sub four onwards. So it's like we're showing that if p sub three is true, we're going to show that p sub four will, as a result, be true. So ganun ang ginagawa natin. So it's not really a circular argument using a statement to prove itself. If you see that p sub three and p sub four are different statements. All right. So, ito, um, so the sum of the first i squares is i, i plus one, two i plus one over six. But then we have this last term, i plus one squared. Okay, now let's see what this is gonna give us. Six, and then i, i plus one, two i plus one plus six, multiplied to i plus one squared. Now, instead of just multiplying everything, I'm going to take note of how we have a common factor, i plus 1. If I factor it out from the first term, i times 2, i plus 1. Plus 6, we're left with a single factor, i plus 1. And then the term inside the brackets, uh, at least it's now going to be simpler. This is going to turn out to be 2i squared plus i plus 6i plus 6, which is 2i squared plus 7i plus 6, which is factorable. Uh, and the factors, yeah, you can check the factors are i plus 2 and 2i plus 3. Yeah, All right. So that's how we have uh, the sum of the first i plus 1 squares is i plus 1, i plus 2, to i plus 3 over 6. In other words, we just showed that by assuming p sub i is true, it turns out consequently that p sub i plus one is going to be true. And that finishes the proof. This is proving by mathematical induction. So let's just clean it up, write down our conclusion. Therefore, the sum as, uh, I still to go k. The sum of k squared as k runs from one to n is indeed n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. All right. Um, let me prove in the remaining time. And then we could spend uh, one more time uh, doing this for other kinds of examples. It uh, four to the three n plus one. Let me copy this. Kung ba yung ano pa yun ay yung maganda sa mga ano na copy niyo po. So instead of uh, actually doing it all over again, you can just copy. Sorry, what's that? You can just copy and paste for instead of uh, writing. Instead writing it down. Uh, okay. So it's a normal piece of N. Okay. So uh, step one. Okay. So verification when N is equal to one. 
Well, when n is equal to one, what is that expression equal to anyway? Uh, four, and then three times one plus one, so four to the four, plus two to the four plus one, so and two to the eight is two five six plus sixteen plus one, and two five six plus seventeen. So that's 273. Is this divisible by seven? Uh, if you divide by seven, what do we get? Three, 163. Seven times 39. Did I do this right? 210 plus 63. Sorry, what's that? 273 plus equal to 210 plus 63. Ah, okay. Yeah, 210. Plus 63. All right. So, see so here, we, we see it's in a, the divisible by seven. Correct. Okay. All right. So, it's seven times 39 as well. All right. I mean, of course, you can factor out seven from 210 times 63. Okay. Okay. So, thus, the claim is true. Okay. I can say this is divisible. Uh, divisible. Divisible by seven. Second two now, this is the inductive step or the induction step. Suppose the statement is true when n is equal to a specific level. Okay, suppose um, seven, are you familiar with this notation, seven and the vertical bar? Uh. Uh, divides, divides. 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 All right. All right. So, ang yung nakaka pagod, hindi naman yun. Ang tiyos isulat ng divisible by. So, then, uh, suppose 7 divides 4 to the 3k plus 1 plus 2 raised to 3k plus 1 plus 1 for some. Uh, positive integer k. So that's what we're going to assume. Okay, we will show that 7 will divide a similar expression, but when n is replaced by k plus 1. So it's going to be 3k plus 4 plus 2 raised to 3k plus 4. Plus one. All right. Uh, there, there are many ways to do this, but um, you can show that something is divisible by seven by showing that it's equal to seven times an integer. Okay. So we, we have to, uh, we're, we're going to start with what we are assuming seven divides four to the three K plus one plus two to the three K plus one plus one and write it in the following form, okay? From the assumption, from what we are supposing, four to the three K plus one, plus two to the three K plus one, plus one is equal to seven times A for some A an integer. Um, so I don't know. This is one of those instances, Joshua, where we are not just solving for something. All right. So I'll when I get the chance, I'll write down some exercises for you to try because I want to see how you write it down as part of articulating your ideas. In case you're wondering, for me, this is important pointing out that A is an integer. Because say after all, I could always write down 10 as seven times 10 over seven, right? But just because I could write down 10 as a product where seven is one of the factors, that hardly qualifies 10 as a multiple of seven, diba? And the reason this doesn't work is because well, if you look at the second factor, pin it at 10 over 7. 10 over 7 is not an integer. 
On the other hand, 21, okay lang, kasi it's 7 times an integer, 3. So, if you allow po yung mga fractions, then every, every possible number is a multiple, except, uh, except irrational numbers. Precisely, di ba? All right, so that's why I wanted to point it out that A is an integer. All right, so now let's have a look at 4 raised to 3K plus 4 plus 2 raised to 3K plus 4 plus 1. Because we want to show that this is divisible by 7. Uh, maraming manipulations na pwedeng gawin, but I am going to rewrite the first term as 4 cubed times 4 to the 3k plus 1. Okay, so that itong 4 to the 3k plus 1, papalitan ko siya. Uh, 7a minus 2 to the 3k plus 1 minus 1. All right. And then let's see what we are going to get out of this. We're going to get 7 times um, 64a and then minus 4 cubed. So that's 64. 2 to the 3k plus 1, 4 cubed minus 1, that's minus 64, plus 2 to the 3k plus 4, plus 1. So as you can see, the very first term, um, even without knowing the specific value of a, all we know is that a is an integer, but clearly that makes 64a is a, an integer, so times 7, so that's a multiple of 7. As you know, you could probably also see negative 64 plus 1 is negative 63 divisible by 7. So that means we have to do our work with the 2 to the 3k plus 1. Uh, but perhaps you can see uh, what can be done there. So you can combine these two into negative 63 minus 2 to the 3k plus 1 and then minus 63. And this difference of three terms is divisible by seven. No. We observe that this is an element of the set of integers. Okay. So what have we done here? Uh, the assumption uh, seven divides four to the three K plus one plus 2 to the 3k plus 1 plus 1 allows us to conclude that 4 to the 3k plus 4 plus 2 to the 3k plus 4 plus 1 is divisible by 7 because that thing with the 3k plus 4 exponents is 7 times an integer. All right. So therefore, yes, indeed, 7 does divide 4 to the 3n plus 1 plus 2 to the 3 and plus 1 plus 1 for all positive integers. All right, so that is math induction. How do you feel? Okay, you're not solving anything. You're not finding something. Spire more of an argument, Cha. If I if bin binigyo po yung sakin, baka it will take me a pretty long time for I would realize na po di palang gamitin po yung. Oh, oh, oh. So hindi lang siya for mga sums and the no, mga series. So magagamit din siya to justify other properties as long as positive integers are involved. All right, bucket positive integers because when n equals one, when n equals two, when n equals three. So, yeah. All right. All right, so I'll uh, see you next time. Where when I get the chance, I'll write down other statements that you could try. Pero uh, may pang other mga pending exercises from other things. All right. So just uh, uh do, do what you're able to. Okay. okay. 
Talaga, ano po, I think uh, may expedite po yung, ano, yung development po ni Joshua ano po, with your guidance. Iba, ang bilhin. Uh, well, ang ganda po eh. Ang ganda, ang galing. Uh, I'm happy that, ano, uh, but, but ultimately, I hope Joshua, you are learning and you're enjoying and uh -huh. this would, you know, all look new, but, you know, even if he gets stopped, that's okay. All right, because at least that means you're learning. All right. Okay, so, um, uh, Sir Jay and Joshua, Merry Christmas. All right, so j j just let me know if you're, whenever you're interested for, uh, you know, a a another session if you are. All right. Okay, Bye. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Bye. Paul.